The question is no more if, but rather when will robots take the place of humans in the workforce? There are certainly strong justifications for saying that robotics and the military are abhorrent, but who doesn't enjoy a good killer robot movie? The latest robots from Boston Dynamics are so terrifying that they will make you wet your pants. They show a world where robot soldiers will take the place of humans in warfare. These robots are quicker. Even when massive items are thrown at them, they still have the ability to blast targets with absolute accuracy. In a standoff, they can even resist gunfire. What are the plans for these new robots at Boston Dynamics? How will they do away with the necessity for human soldiers? Let's find out. Boston Dynamics has become more well-known over the years by posting incredible robot demonstrations on social media. Even if you aren't familiar with the company specifically, you have undoubtedly seen the video of a robot that resembles a dog being thrown around and carrying amounts of weight. Boston Dynamics was founded with the intention of enhancing robots' ability to travel through tough terrain. Their current objective is to design and produce excellent robots that may be utilized for both military and non-military purposes. Boston Dynamics, regarded as a leader and innovator in the field of robotics, is undoubtedly getting near to realizing its vision because its robots are already capable of doing incredible things. Several bipedal and quadrupedal robots have been built and tested by Boston Dynamics. The LS3, a militarized variant of Big Dog, their first successful quadrupedal robot, is among their most recognizable machines. This tough robot is made to work in conditions that are hot, cold, damp, and dirty. The U.S. Army is actively testing it as a squad support element because it can keep its balance while carrying huge loads under difficult combat conditions. Then there's Atlas. Atlas is a six-foot bipedal humanoid robot that was created for a range of uses and functions. It's more likely that this robot will serve as a test subject for a future robot soldier. When it first debuted in 2013, it was just beginning to learn how to walk. Since then, the Atlas robot team has advanced significantly. The team has continuously updated us on their accomplishments and milestones on their social media accounts. The robot learned to walk the same way we all did, by falling a few times before it got it right. The Atlas can now balance on one leg, walk, jump, run at a speed of 2.5 meters per second, and execute a backflip. The Atlas robot will be able to drive, climb ladders, extinguish fires, turn off valves, unlock doors, and use powered equipment even in hostile conditions, according to the Boston Dynamics team. The Atlas has the most promise for future soldiering because it was created to assist emergency services in search and rescue operations. This is likely one of the reasons why U.S. government research organizations like DARPA are alleged to have committed a lot of money to this project. The scientists behind the project have been working on creating a paradigm-shifting neural net AI that powers Atlas and is required for a control perception and estimation that takes place on board with three computers, in addition to its amazing motor motions. Atlas is now a self-learning robot thanks to this AI, demonstrating the actual synergy between mechanical components and an AI-powered programmed brain. Can you see how Atlas might eventually render soldiers wholly obsolete? Boston Dynamics now has military contracts for a couple of their robots as part of an early adopter package. What's more interesting is that several of their robots have already undergone successful field testing. It appears that robots might enlist in the military sooner than we had anticipated. There are three different types of robots available to the military. Robots of the first kind, known as automatic robots, react to external inputs mechanically. These robots are unable to discern between inputs. Therefore, they will obey any order that is provided without hesitation. Additionally, they are unable to function without those inputs. Typically, it's operated by humans. Armed forces all across the world already make extensive use of these. Consider robots that remove mines or EOD robots that disarm IEDs and potential bomb threats. Automated robots are the second category. These automated robots execute commands in a predetermined order and according to a pre-programmed schedule. As a result of algorithms dictating how they function and act, the majority of automated robots exhibit predictable behavior. 
This implies that automated robots may have their paths to enemies' camps pre-programmed, or even trained to recognize hostile soldiers in a specific way. Today's military also employs automatic robots, such as pre-programmed reconnaissance drones that fly without human supervision, or fire control robots that are set up to automatically alert the artillery when they identify an enemy vehicle. The autonomous robot, the last kind of robot, is the subject of significant discussion. These are machines that can be configured to be able to select among many options. They can use high-level artificial intelligence to exercise independent judgment, even while they are still bound by their program. This kind of robot will ultimately render soldiers obsolete. An autonomous robot that can decide who may appear as a threat and react in accordance with the battlefield circumstances and mission objectives. They may command a team of other autonomous or automated robots to carry out difficult military tasks that currently call for human soldiers. Any army command would find it hard to resist the idea that you don't have to incur human fatalities to accomplish some military goal, which is why we see enormous sums of money being invested in autonomous drone technology as well. With the eventual aim of developing completely autonomous drones that can fly, detect threats, make choices, and kill without any human interference, several air forces have already started working in this area. Nevertheless, before any of these technologies go online, there are significant obstacles to be overcome. We are moving toward a very interesting future, not just technically, but also morally and legally. Every paradigm in technology has benefits and drawbacks. The most obvious benefit of robots fighting wars is that they can prevent innumerable human deaths. As they lack emotions, they are unable to feel fear or trauma. They work tirelessly and possess tremendous strength that no human can match. They can be sent into environments and conditions that are inhospitable to humans, such as nuclear waste sites and extremely hot or cold climates. All of this implies that they are capable of taking part in extremely risky missions and carrying out orders consistently. Robots that are autonomous can frequently be updated and improved. As a result, upgrading these soldiers takes less time than training human soldiers would. Additionally, because they are produced goods, mass production is a possibility, which means replacements should be much less expensive. As tremendous as those advantages are, they do have some drawbacks as well. The first and most obvious one is that because autonomous robots are completely dependent on human programming, they are open to attack. Imagine the enemy hacking your army of robots and using them against you. That's a nightmare in the vein of the Terminator just waiting to happen. They can malfunction on the battlefield and end up in the hands of the adversary in addition to being mechanical objects that can be hacked. Even though there is a lot of discussion about this, armed artificial intelligence that has been let loose on humans poses a concern. Yet even if we presume that the world wouldn't be overrun by autonomous robots in the future, there is still a chance that those in power may persecute those without access to technology you'd have to admit that it's a dismal future that most people obviously don't want to happen. Therefore, you can see that before humans are allowed to incorporate fully autonomous robots as a soldier in their regiments, there are a number of moral and ethical dilemmas, not to mention legal maneuvering, that must be resolved. But that future is what we are inevitably moving towards. What do you believe will happen to and with military robots in the future? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section below.